بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم گڈ مارننگ ایوری بادی دس از مسٹر نبیل ایڈم فرام برکیا سیکنڈ اسکول دس از ا ریکارڈڈ لیسن فور گریڈ 11 ٹوڈے یو ار گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی یونٹ 5 لیسن 3 آن ورک بک پلیز اوپن یور ورک بک آن پیج نمبر 32 33 Today you are going to read an article about a short history of ballpoint pens. As you know that writing is an effective way of communication. Of course we write with pencils or pens. But do you know who invented the first ballpoint pen? We are going to study some new vocabulary, do some exercises, read the text, and answer the questions. At the end, we are going to have some simple question and translation from uh, Arabic into English. Let's start with this question. Let's watch a video in order to answer the following question. What is industrial design? Industrial design. Watch this video and you will get the answer. Industrial design. Industrial design. Industrial design. Design relate to industry. So it's a noun, but it's used as an adjective. Industrial design. Mechanism. 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 A natural or established process by which something takes place or is about is brought about. Mechanism. This automatic camera has a special focusing mechanism. Reliable. 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 It's an adjective. It can describe people or things. Reliable. Consistently good in quality or performance. Able to be trusted. Reliable is an adjective. Reliability is a noun. Guaranteed. So something is reliable, it means you can trust. It has a good quality. It's guaranteed. Reliable. Rolex watches are known to be reliable watches. The TV sometimes can be a reliable source of information. Reliable, trusted, experienced, knowledgeable, guaranteed. Mechanism. Do you know how a ballpoint pen works? It's called mechanism. The ball 
moves in its socket. Then it transfers ink onto the paper. This is called mechanism. Socket. 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 A natural or artificial hollow into which something fits or in something in which something revolves. Look at the blue ball. The blue ball moves or uh, revolves, goes around in its socket, in its hole. Socket, it can be electrical socket, the pen socket, socket. So these are the new words we studied today. Industrial design, mechanism, reliable, socket. Please read the sentences, fill in the space with the words from the list. Industrial designs, mechanism, reliable, socket. I'll give you one and a half minute to read the sentence and decide which word suits the sentence. Number one, he had forgotten to plug the television into the whole main, yes, socket. Two, the for collecting taxes needs revising. The should be followed with a noun. The mechanism. Number three, he has a good background in. So you need an, a noun, industrial designs. Number four, Mr. Mustafa is very, very is followed with an adjective. If he says he'll do something, he'll do it. So he is very reliable. Now, read the article about the history of ballpoint pens and answer these questions. Read the questions first and decide how can you answer them. A. When were the first bureaus produced? Here you are going to answer the time, the year. How much did the first American ballpoint pens cost? So you have to mention the price. In which country were big pens first produced? You have to mention the country. How does a ballpoint pen work? You have to mention the way, the mechanism. How does a ballpoint pen work? Please read the text and answer this question. You can pause the video so that you can have enough time to read the article and then check your answers. Ballpoint pens, a short history. In the early 1940s, a Hungarian journalist called Laszlo Biru visited a newspaper office. He watched the production process and was amazed at how quickly the printing ink dried on the paper. It was then that Biru decided to design a pen which used quick drying ink instead of the normal ink which traditional fountain pens used and which took a long time to dry. In 1943, Laszlo and his brother, who was a chemist, produced the first birus. The bends became an instant success, mainly because the ink dried quickly and they were stronger than normal ink pens, but also because they worked in planes at high altitude. 
the bands were so effective that they were adopted by the Royal Air Force of the United Kingdom, whose crews found them far more reliable during flights than older fountain bands. Two, two years later, an American company produced similar pens, but because of the technology involved, these first ballpoint pens were very expensive, at $10 each. In 1949, Marcel Beck, who had previously purchased the patent to the Bureau pen, produced the first cheap ballpoint pens in France. These big pens eventually sold on the American market for only 10 cents each. The big company has been successfully making ballpoint pens ever since. So successful was Beck's product that the big pen has become a recognized icon of modern industrial design, even appearing in museums and galleries as an object of cultural significance. The most important part of a ballpoint pen is the ball. As it moves across a piece of paper, the ball revolves in its socket and transfers quick drying ink onto the paper. This mechanism is very important. If the ball is too tight in the socket, the ball will not move. If it is too low, the ink will dry up. Ballpoint pens can write in many different situations, but they cannot write upside down because the ink needs gravity to move down on the ball. Although the successful design of the ballpoint is generally attributed to Laszlo Biru, many other attempts were made in the years preceding Biru's design. It has even been argued that Galileo Galilei produced a design for the ballpoint pen in the 17th century. So this is a short history about ballpoint pens. This article is divided into paragraphs. Count the paragraphs, please. How many paragraphs are there? One, two, three, four, five paragraphs. Pay attention to the number. So let's check the answers. When were the first Pirus produced? In 1943. How much did the first American ballpoint pens cost? $10. In which country were big pens first produced? In France. How does a ballpoint pen work? As it moves, the ball revolves and transfers ink onto the paper. Now, read the article again. Are these statements true or false? Just fire answer. Read the sentences and tick true or false. Just fire answer. The first question, A, Laszlo Biru was a journalist. Yes, that's true. B, normal bands were more durable than Biru's. False, correct it, just by your answer. Biru's, we should correct it with O. Birus were stronger, there is missing R. Birus were stronger than normal pens. C. The first American ballpoint pens were not cost prohibitive. 
falls they were very expensive they were prohibitively expensive d americans could purchase big pens for one tenth of the cost of the first american ballpoint pens yes that's false because they were for one hundredth of the cost the big company has ceased or has stopped production of these inexpensive pens falls still produce these cheap pens so the big the big company still produce these cheap pens they are inexpensive in a ballpoint pen ink is conveyed to the paper by the rotation of the ball that's true now check your answers in a different way Lars Libiru was a journalist yes that's true normal pens normal pens were more durable than Biru's false Biru's were stronger than normal pens The first American ballpoint pens were not cost prohibitive. False. The first American ballpoint pens were very expensive. Americans could purchase big pens for one tenth of the cost of the first American ballpoint pens. False. Americans could buy big pens for one hundredth of the cost of the first American ballpoint pens. The big company has ceased production of these inexpensive pens. False. The big company still produces these cheap pens. In a ballpoint pen, ink is conveyed to the paper by the rotation of the ball. That is true. Now, you are going to choose the correct answer to these questions. The last one is answered. Ballpoint pens are useful because they use rapidly drying ink and can write in most situations. I choose the correct answer. A. Who produced the first ballpoint pens? Lars Libero. Why was the first ballpoint pen produced? as a faster and more durable alternative to fountain pens. C. Ballpoint pens are useful because they use rapidly drying ink and can write in most situations. Rapidly means quickly. Check your answers. Now, you are going to match words from A to J with the correct meanings, with their synonyms, with their definitions. And look at the numbers in brackets. These numbers refer to the paragraph number. Altitude in paragraph 2. Amazed in paragraph 1. Eventually in paragraph 4. Instant in paragraph 2. Lows in paragraph 5, Bruss in paragraph 1, Revolve in paragraph 5, Socket in paragraph 5, Tight in paragraph 5, Transfer in paragraph 5. The first one in, is answered. Number 1, Instant means immediate. Instant means immediate. Now, match the words with their meanings or with their definitions.
Altitude means height above the ground. Amazed means very surprised. Eventually means in the end. Instant means immediate. Laws means moving too freely. Bros means method or system. Revolve means go round. Socket means hole where ball revolves. Tight means unable to move. And the opposite is lows. Tight, the opposite is lows in letter E. Transfer means move from one place to another. Now, check your answers again. So, altitude means height above the ground. Amazed means very surprised. Eventually means in the end. Understand means immediate. Lows means moving too freely. Bros means method or system. Revolve means go round. Socket means hole where ball revolves. Tight means unable to move. Transfer means move from one place to another. The homework. What are you going to do? You are going to write ten cents of your own using the words below. Altitude, use it in a sentence of your own. Amazed, eventually, understand, laws, cross, revolve, circuit, tight, transfer. Do it yourself. Now, over to you. Discuss and explain the meaning of this quote in your notebook. The pen is the tongue of the mind. Miguel de Cervantes, this is a famous writer, he says, the pen is the tongue of the mind. Tongue and ilsan, the pen is the tongue of the mind. What does it mean? It is the tool that expresses our feelings and thoughts. Another answer. The pen is the tongue of the mind. One can use the pen as well as the tongue to express what is in his mind on a piece of paper. The pen is the aid of the tongue, the help of the tongue that can record thoughts and ideas and keep them to be used again. The pen is the tongue of the mind. Now, let's have some uh, sit book question and translation questions. What is the mechanism by which the ball point pen works? The ball which moves across a piece of paper and revolves in its socket and transfers quick drying ink onto papers. Why is the mechanism of the ball pen pen important? Because if the ball is too tight in the socket, the ball will not move. If it is too loose, the ink will dry up. It can't write upside down because the ink needs the gravity to move down on the ball. Gravity il jazibiya. Who invented the first pen ever made? You should be proud of that. Around 6,000 years ago, in 4,000 BC, the Egyptians invented the first substance like paper called bibras. It was a woven mat of reeds, bounded together into a hard, thin sheet. The word paper actually comes from the word bibras. Ancient Greeks are, are also known to have used a kind of parchment made from animal skins for the same purpose. 
So why were the pens invented by Laszlo and his brother an instant success? Because they used quick drying ink and were stronger than normal ink pens. Why were the first ballpoint pens expensive? Because they used an expensive technology. What is so distinctive about the Beck pens? They were meticulously designed and they were cheaper than their American counterparts or Laszlo bureaus. How does the ballpoint pen work? When the ball moves across a piece of paper, it revolves in its socket and thus transfers quick drying ink onto the paper. This is called its mechanism. Why can't ballpoint pens write upside down? Because the ink needs gravity to move down the ball. How do you think the development of computers will affect people's use of pens, pencils, and paper? Pens and paper won't be used anymore. Messages will be sent by emails. They will be computerized. Again, the pen is the tongue of the mind. Discuss this statement. The pen is the aid of the tongue that can record thoughts and ideas and keep them to be used again. You can answer this question yourself. Why was the first ballpoint pen produced? How does a ballpoint pen work? Imagine a world without writing. How would people uh, transmit information to each other? The pen is the tongue of the mind. Explain. Do you think that human beings will one day have a single system of writing? Why? Why not? Translate the following in, uh, text into English. Read the Arabic and translate it into good English sentences. You can answer them yourself. And answer the following question about the article again. I leave you with this video that gives you a short history about Biru's pen. Behold the ballpoint pen, but where did it come from? Meet Laszlo Biro, born in Hungary in 1899. As a journalist, Laszlo Biro was fed up with fountain pens. Their ink smeared and took too long to dry. With the help of his brother, Biro designed a pen with a new tip made of a ball and a socket. As the pen moved across the paper, the ball would rotate and pick up a layer of ink. As the ball continued rotation, it moved the ink to the page. The ballpoint pen was a clever idea, Good job. but it didn't gain worldwide attention until British pilots in the Royal Air Force started using the pen during flights. Because ballpoint pens do not rely solely on pressure to distribute ink, they function better than fountain pens in high altitudes. Biro patented the pen in both France and Argentina, and Argentines celebrate Inventor's Day on the anniversary of Biro's birth. In many countries, ballpoint pens are called bureaus in his memory. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed watching this lesson. Don't forget to do your homework.